डायरेक्टेड बाय पुलकित भक्षक स्टारिंग भूमि पेडनेकर संजय मिश्रा साई दमहंकर एंड आदित्य श्रीवास्तव इन द लीड रोल्स इज फाइनली रिलीज्ड ऑन नेटफ्लिक्स एज द इन्वेस्टिगेटिव थ्रिलर रिलीजेज ऑन द स्ट्रीमिंग प्लेटफॉर्म विदाउट दिस वुड बी द परफेक्ट टाइम टू गिव यू एन ओवर व्यू टॉक अबाउट द एंडिंग एंड डिस्कस सम डिटेल्स ऑफ द फिल्म सो दैट यू कैन हैव द बेस्ट व्यूइंग एक्सपीरियंस A spoiler warning is in order as we will be discussing essential plot points and character details from the movie. But if you are done watching it already, let's dive straight into the video. And yeah, while you're at it, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. It helps us a lot. Thank you and let's move on to the basic plot. The film starts with Vaishali Singh, a journalist determined to seek the truth, refusing to bow down to mainstream news channels. She chose not to be part of the rat race and instead started her own news channel Koshish News. With a team of only 2 members, Vaishali Singh proves that courage can sometimes destroy the most influential people. When Vaishali received a whistleblower social audit report, she found it useless material at first. She did not believe she had the power to end the abuse to which the girls at the Munawarpur shelter had been subjected to. However, Gupta ji remained quite persistent on the matter and Vaishali showed interest when he mentioned that the police had not taken any action even though 2 months had passed since the report was published. Vaishali started investigating the case and as expected, she suddenly had too many enemies to face. As soon as Vaishali started investigating, Bansi Sahu's name appeared to often. Sahu himself a journalist had great influence in the village of Munawarpur. He contacted Vaishali's husband Arvind as soon as he heard that a journalist was inquiring about the shelter home. He indirectly threatened Vaishali to back out but instead piqued her interest in him even more. Vaishali soon discovered that Bansi Sahu had government support. He bought papers at a subsidized rate but barely printed 3 copies. It was an open scam and no one dared to question him. He owned the shelter and was also associated with various other NGOs. Everyone was afraid of Bansi Sahu and the chief minister was also within his reach. Vaishali's mentor and cameraman Bhaskar Sinha was a little shocked when he realized that they would be defying the government if she decided to expose these sexual abuses and crimes. However, Vaishali decided to continue her investigation and find evidence that would support the claims made in the report. It was almost impossible to find anyone who could provide information about the Munawarpur shelter. They tried their best to find everyone who had been relocated from the Munawarpur shelter but without success. After inquiring with several other shelters, they finally found hope in one where the cook had previously worked at the Munawarpur shelter. When Vaishali and Bhaskar showed up, Sadhna refused to say a word at first. She denied knowing or seeing anything illegal during her time there. Vaishali gave up and was about to leave when Sadhna decided to confess the truth only on one condition. She didn't want it to be recorded and she didn't want her name associated with the case. Sadhna spoke about her terrifying memories at the shelter. She talked about baby Dani, the warden of the shelter, and how she abused the girls. She forced the girls to sleep naked while she slept with them. The girls at the shelter only had one room to sleep in and their health was extremely poor. One of the girls advised Sadhna to run away for her life and she soon discovered why. They had a doctor who handled the cases where the victims were seriously injured. Later Sadhna observed Bansi and his men partying in the shelter house and indiscriminately abusing and torturing the girls. She realized that she too would suffer the same fate and decided to escape that night. Before leaving, she heard Baby Dani and Sonu mention that they had killed a girl. The details left Vaishali and Bhaskar speechless. They were even more determined to denounce the perpetrators and save the victims. The only problem was that the only witness Vaishali had was unwilling to come forward. She quickly realized that despite the lack of evidence, she had to act with confidence to force the attackers to respond, which would ultimately lead to one mistake or another. It was a crazy project, but she was ready to accept the bait. When Vaishali learned that a criminal complaint had been filed against the Munawarpur hostel, she assumed that her brother-in-law, lawyer Suresh Singh, was behind the complaint. Suresh was completely against Vaishali's decision to involve himself in Bansi Sahu's affairs. He still looked down on her work, especially because she didn't fit the typical idea of a good Indian housewife. Bansi's men also thought that Suresh was responsible for the PIL and manhandled him to teach Vaishali a lesson. Surprisingly her husband Arvind showed his confidence in the work Vaishali was doing and now that she had his support it was impossible to stop her from exposing the criminals Vaishali decided to constantly update her audience about the case and she spoke about the torture suffered by Suresh and how the police refused to file an FIR against Bansi Sahu 
Vishali's small channel suddenly attracted the attention of both the common and influential people. She contacted Jasmeet Kaur, the first female SSP of Munawarpur for help. While Jasmeet hoped to find a solution, her superior advised her to stay out of the case due to lack of evidence. The next time Jasmeet and Vishali met, she helped her understand the importance of putting pressure on the welfare department. Bij Mohan Singh's wife Rajni Singh headed the welfare department but it was he who made all the decisions on her behalf. Bij Mohan was one of Bansi's many clients and they had a close relationship. Vaishali realized that she could only put pressure on the welfare office with credible lies. Bhaskar Sinha was given the task of posing as a benefactor of Bij Mohan. He managed to meet the politician and warn him about the evidence Vaishali had collected against him and his wife. To create a misunderstanding between Bansi and his men, Bhaskar mentioned that Mithilesh Sinha of the CWC was responsible for providing information to Vaishali. Later in the evening, Vaishali spoke on her show about the death of a social welfare department official from Sita Mari as she believed that he was shot because he was putting pressure on social welfare department to investigate the Munawarpur homeless shelter case. With a blank sheet of paper in her hand, Vaishali claimed that she had all the information about the functioning of the Munawarpur girls' home. She said she would finally expose all the ministers and known personalities involved in the racket the next day in her special show called Bhakshak. After the program went on air, the chief minister contacted Rajni Singh and directed her to lodge an FIR immediately. Vaishali hoped that Jasmeet Gaur would be able to handle the case from then on, but it turned out that the FIR had been lodged at the women's police station under the protection of children from Sexual Offence Act or POCSO. The Child Welfare Association would record victims' testimonies and if they found anything worth investigating, actions would be taken. Vaishali knew there was no hope because Bansi's close aide Mithilesh Sinha, also a rapist, headed the Child Welfare Association. After speaking to the SSP, Vaishali realized that the only way to put the culprits behind bars was to collect evidence. At the end of Bhakshak, Vaishali decides to see Sudha again and convinces her to tell her story. Sudha was not ready to put her life in danger by acting as a witness in this case, but Vaishali helped her realize that only she could help the lives of all the abused children. Sudha finally agreed to record her statement. She stood in front of the camera with her face covered and recounted her entire experience. Bansi and his associates understood that this meant the end of their free reign. Bansi was a selfish man and felt not an ounce of shame for the heinous crime he had committed. He did not allow Baby Dani and Sonu to throw away the bottles of alcohol and contraceptives kept in the shelter home. He was proud of himself and did not try to hide the crime. Mithilesh ran away from Bansi fearing he would lose his job. The next morning, police arrived at the Munawarpur shelter and rescued the girls. Bansi and his collaborators were arrested and justice was eventually served, although this did not guarantee an end to such violations. It took Vaishali Singh to raise her voice and shed light on an issue that everyone was too scared to face. Bhakshak ends with Vaishali Singh addressing her audience and discussing how the media often fails to address important issues due to influence. Sometimes these cases are overlooked simply because they don't appeal to the public as much as mainstream news. She expresses her disappointment with the way the world works, where there is distinct lack of emotion and sympathy and people would rather ignore than feel for others. Vaishali continues to play her role as a journalist, but she interrogates her audience asking if they are doing enough to be called human. Pulkit's Bhaksha, co-written by Jyotsna Nath, is loosely based on the Muzaffarpur shelter case. The film's tone swings widely between serious and dilated reality, therefore the final product is simply boring. Together with cinematographer Kumar Shaurav and Edgar Zouin Sheikh, Pulkit doesn't create a single scene that has an emotional charge. They put in a lot of songs, hoping to generate some kind of emotions from the audience. The actors' performances are good but nothing we see on screen is something exceptional. So overall, Bhakshak is a decent watch but it fails to deliver the level of realism that we have witnessed from movies like Spotlight. Hey hey hey, thank you for watching this video. Do share your thoughts in the comment section about your experience of watching Bhakshak on Netflix. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get your weekly dose of cinema series. See you at the next one and for the timing we are signing off. Achha chalta hoon and I'll be back.